up to you, O Lord. Not, it seems in the direction of the hills, but not to the hills, but to you that put the hills in place. And we are asking this morning, this very Friday morning, this very second Friday in the month of July, the seventh month, the first month of the second half of 2021. Father, please hearken unto our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, people pray for different reasons. And there are one reason, a very important reason why we should pray. Today we are looking at the topic, Prayer 103. I'm sure when you hear 103, it's not still basic. We are still in the basic class of prayer school. And the, our test is still Luke 18 and verse 1. It says, Men, women, boys, girls, families, companies, corporations, associations, group of people ought to pray and not fail. In Luke 22, if you read from 40 through to 46, there's a story about Jesus and his disciples when it was time for Jesus to go to the cross and he was praying. I know he told the disciples that they should pray for one hour. He asked them, tarry with me, pray. And he got to a place, he said to them, oh, because they were just... You see, nowadays, I don't know about you, but many people are complaining about it. After going through the stress of the day, they come back and just say, it was Jesus minus Satan, and just sleep. Some of us, while prayer is going on, maybe the wife that day, the wife had money to pray, and the wife is praying. The husband is, oh, 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 oh. By the time the wife say, in Jesus' name we pray, the husband is out. And the way just like, ah, you are sleeping. No, 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 I just do. Say, I'm not sleeping. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And that's why in Matthew 26, 40 and 41, because they can't you pray for one hour, you know, the spirit is weak. I mean, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But he said, pray that you may not enter into temptation. I want to appeal to you. Every opportunity to pray, don't miss it. Sometimes we pray today of what will happen tomorrow. If they raise a prayer point and you are there, don't say, no, I'm beyond this. Please pray. I will round up with a story. We were told this story, you know, all those folk tales. That uh, one day, Tortoise was praying and the monkey refused to say amen. And he asked monkey, why did you say amen? He said, why would you say amen to that? He said, it's beyond that. And what is the prayer? He said, pray. He said, may we not see temptation. May we not suffer for something we don't know about. Monkey said, why would I even suffer for what I don't know about? Once I'm on the tree, what does it concern me? We pray we are praying now to stop kidnapping, to stop terrorism and banditry. Don't say it has not come to you. It might come if you don't pray to stop it now. Pray that will not enter temptation. Monkey refused to say amen. And Tortoise said, said, let me show you an example. Tortoise went to Lion. And gave, I was eating something. I said, mm, it's sweet. And Lion said, what are you eating? And Lion shared it in. And I said, this is very sweet. He said, what is it? Ah, he said, this is monkey's uh, feces. Monkey's feces, this is sweet. He said, yes. Yeah, so, he said, but sometimes oh, he would not do this sweet one. No, oh, and say, you really, really push him. That's how Lion went and looked for monkey. I said, monkey, come. Oh, yeah, please. I want to eat your feces. Monkey said, what kind of thing is that? How can you eat my feces? They told me that you not do it easily. That's why I started beating me. <laughs> Friends, pray that you don't enter temptation. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.